A beacon, by definition, is a source of light, or a source of inspiration. This episode of Light Matters features beacons as a little bit of both. Hello, thanks for joining us for the June 2017 edition of Light Matters. I'm Justine Murphy. The highest point in Massachusetts is located in the Berkshires, and it's now adorned with a powerful light that can be seen from as far as 75 miles away. The smallest city in the state is also in the Berkshires, and if you look to the sky there during the summer months, you just might see a special message in lights. More on those stories coming up. But first, scientists in Finland have developed a synthetic material that is inexpensive and could produce luminescence that is closer to sunlight than any other existing medium. Persistent luminescence is used in everyday glow-in-the-dark applications and has high potential for medical imaging, night vision surveillance, and even solar cell enhancement. The trouble is, the materials that make these applications possible can be pretty expensive. Now, a team from the University of Turku in Finland has developed a synthetic alternative that is not only effective, but comes with a smaller price tag. The new material is based on hackmanite, a natural mineral that produces broad-spectrum white light, imitating sunlight in lighting applications. Hackmanite uses only abundant and non-toxic elements, which is where the lower production costs come in. The researchers say their hackmanite material could be used in ordinary lamps to produce natural white light. And, because it also glows in the dark, it's suitable for things like emergency and exit signs. The research was published in Advanced Functional Materials. Mount Greylock, situated in the Berkshires of western Massachusetts, is home to the state's Veterans War Memorial. The memorial recently underwent a $2.8 million restoration that included new high-lumen LED flood luminaires in the glass globe that sits atop the tower. Photonics Media's news editor, Autumn Pylant, takes us to the beacon that is said to be the brightest light in the entire state. Five to 10 miles up Mount Greylock, depending on which town you're coming from, lies the summit the highest point in all of Massachusetts at 3,491 feet. Atop the summit is the 93-foot-high Veterans War Memorial, and on top of the memorial is a beacon that under favorable weather conditions can be seen from as far as 75 miles away. We installed 12 new light fixtures that employ LED technology. Each light fixture has six diodes, and each fixture emits approximately 32,000 lumens, which is a major improvement on what was there before. Uh, it's estimated that the new lights are about four times as bright as the uh, previous light system. From dusk till dawn, the lights shine bright. We were hiking the Appalachian Trail south of here, and we saw it from over uh, at Chesser Cobble. We looked across and got a very good view of it and some pictures of it from a quite a few miles away. The idea of a statewide veterans memorial was first envisioned in 1918 in the aftermath of World War I. After considering a number of different sites around the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, the State Commission put out a design competition in 1929 to solicit designs for a tower atop Mount Greylock. One of the design conditions they placed upon that was to have the designs take the form of a beacon. So the original idea was to have a perpetual light incorporated into this memorial that would be able to be seen for miles around from the summit. Since then, the memorial has been renovated and restored a number of times. Most recently, it was closed for three years because of water damage. After three years of darkness, the Veterans War Memorial is once again shining bright. In fact, shining brighter than ever. Reporting for Photonics Media and Light Matters, I'm Autumn Pylant. Thanks, Autumn. The Massachusetts Veterans War Memorial was built between 1931 and 1932, and officially dedicated in 1933 as a tribute to the courage, endurance, loyalty, and self-sacrifice of the service members who died defending our country. Poet and essayist Henry David Thoreau visited Mount Greylock before the memorial was built. 
he wrote a poem titled Cloudland after hiking up and spending the night at the mountain summit, located in the city of Adams. The neighboring city of North Adams is home to the Massachusetts Museum of Contemporary Art, also known as Mass Mocha. If you're in the area, look up. If you know Morse code, you'll be able to see Thoreau's poem in lights on Mass Mocha's clock tower and the church steeples that define North Adams' skyline. As though he had been shipwrecked and was adrift in cloudland, he wrote, as the light increased, I discovered around me an ocean of mist. The synchronized light art was created by the Chicago-based collective Luftwerk and brought to the city by the North Adams Exchange. The installation imagines North Adams steeples and the clock tower as lighthouses on Mount Greylock shores, rather beacons that transmit Thoreau's verse in Morse code. The North Adams Exchange is a collaboration of the city of North Adams, downtown merchants and local community members, the North Adams Partnership, and Mass Mocha. You can see the beacons all summer long from dusk until about midnight. And speaking of beacons, do you know a coworker, colleague, manager, or mentor who has changed the photonics industry for the better or inspired you through his or her hard work and dedication? Take a moment to nominate them for a Photonics Media Industry Beacons Award. It's easy. Just go to photonics.com to learn more and to access and submit the nomination form. The deadline to submit nominations is July 3rd. Well, that's it for this month's show. Be sure to follow us on social media for the latest and coolest news and information. Until next time, keep following the photons.